So I'm sure it's no surprise that uh, I haven't been very consistent with my uploads per usual over the past like a year or so. And I realized I've never told you guys specifically why. Unless you guys followed my Instagram, uh, you guys pretty much wouldn't know on YouTube. I was uploading videos here and there, but it's very spotty. And it's not that I couldn't, but there was definitely priorities that I needed to put first before YouTube. And it would have been cool to document, but basically the reason why I was so inconsistent is because I was living out of my car for about a year, a year and a half. And when I say car, I mean my SUV, so it wasn't the tiniest thing, but it was definitely a downgrade from living in a whole house and my apartment in Orange County. So I'm sure some of you guys are wondering why, why would somebody choose to live in their car? Uh, basically, long story short, my lease was coming to an end. I didn't want to have to look for new roommates. I didn't want to have to sign up for another lease if I was only going to be there for a couple more months or so I thought. And I've always wanted to do the typical like van life that everybody seems to love so much. And it's, it's very trendy right now too, uh, which is kind of weird, but it lined up with school. Um, I needed to be there at school. They were paying for my schooling to get my master's. And like I said, I didn't want to pay for a whole apartment. My car was paid off. So essentially I was homeless, you can say, but obviously I was sleeping in my car at the end of the night. So before I talk about what I liked about it and what I didn't and things like that and where I'm going with this whole video, I kind of want to describe what my setup was and like how I was living during that year and a half. So just like any other typical SUV, front seats, back seats, you know, nothing crazy. The hatch opens up. Um, but the hatch, the area allowed me to put a lot of things that I needed and that was basically like my garage slash bed area slash kitchen area sometimes. So you open it up uh, at night when I was going to bed, I would put the seats forward. I would lay this box that me and my dad made and it unfolds and it turns into a bed. and. I had this little foam cushion that I would put out at night and just lay there with my pillow and my blanket. And as far as privacy, uh, I had a sunscreen in the front and then I made curtains out of like bungee cords and just material that I went to go get at some craft store and we stitched it over the bungee cords and that was my curtains. And my very back window was never covered, but it's, it's like one of the darkest tints you can have so nobody can see inside it anyway. And then next, sitting right next to me was my refrigerator basically I had bought this cooler when I was working at Costco and it's one of those ones where the ice stays for a while for a couple days so I would just go buy ice and keep my food and my drinks nice and cool um, and yeah it was easy access it was on the other side of the the bench in the back and then I would open my hatch and we build these boxes it was supposed to have two drawers but I was so back and forth that we didn't really have time to make both so we made one and that one has a lock on it just in case uh, I ever need to put anything valuable in there like my laptop, my cameras, anything like that. But most of the time it was just used for clothes. To the right of that was just kind of like my camping stuff, my, uh, my chairs, my pots and pans, my cups, bowls, hammock, things like that kind of random stuff. And then above that I had this camper stove and uh, basically all my essentials to, to cook and to clean and to you know, brush my teeth and lotion and all that stuff. Um, but the stove came in handy plenty of times. Went to the park a couple times, went to the beach a couple times, made dinner in the randomest places you would you could think of. And then below all those was a pull-out like table. And I would sit there, eat my food or cook my food or sit down on my chair, you know, facing the hatch facing the beach and just kind of, you know, put my arm there and drink a beer and yeah, I mean, it was basically all I needed. And then of course, everybody has to have an entertainment center. So in the front, uh, sometimes if I'm sitting there or laying down or sometimes driving, sorry, mom and dad, I would have movies playing on my dashboard. I basically had all my favorite movies, Beetlejuice, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Nightmare Before Christmas, Gremlins, Edward Scissorhands, things like that. So everything has its pros and cons and it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. It wasn't, you know, the most fun I've ever had, but it was the most freedom I've ever had. And one of the cons was obviously you're in this enclosed area and I would sleep with my windows cracked, whether it was hot, whether it was cold. Um, I'd rather be cold than hot, so I could always warm myself up. You can't really cool yourself down. Um, but when it was hot, there's nothing you can really do. Um, I would sleep with like no blanket, sometimes no pillow, because a pillow even would get warm. 
and then people start getting concerned about me with my safety with the windows cracked a little bit and things like that and I, it was just the whole thing but it wasn't enough to make me move back home another con obviously you don't have a restroom you don't have a bathroom but the pro was that I was going to school and at the time I just graduated with my undergrad and the gym and the showers were open to everybody so I would brush my teeth there I would work out I would shower it was all right there super easy it was only a couple minutes away from work so that's where I would stay it was their parking lot and it was nice and safe there was security a pro was that I was saving money I remember I was paying like six to seven hundred dollars a month just to live in a two-bedroom basically like one paycheck half of one paycheck and it was just gone and I was saving all that money and I was living off of less expenses as far as Wi-Fi, electricity, water. Towards the end, I got so good with my money that I was only spending about 400 to 500 per paycheck. And I was basically pocketing the rest or just having fun and traveling. All my money essentially went to food and to gas. That was basically it. And the reason why I'm telling you guys all this now is one so you guys know because I'm trying to be more consistent with my uploads. This was kind of to let you know why I wasn't consistent. Also, I liked it so much that I want to upgrade to a van and I want to do the van life. I want to do the conversion and have my own kitchen and bed and my garage and take my work and travel and go anywhere I want anytime I want and that is my dream life while I'm young. Eventually I would like to have my own house and kids and family and you know settle down and have a more stable and permanent residence but eventually I want to get a van. So what I'm asking from you guys is just a little bit of help. All I'm asking is if you guys could please just watch the videos that I put out you know help me earn a little bit of revenue from YouTube. Um, I've also started my own brand which kind of embodies what I'm talking about this whole adventurous lifestyle and doing what you love to do and things like that It's called wild with wolves. I was wearing the one of the hoodies in the last uh, video uh, So if you guys like those you can DM me on Instagram. You can check out my website um, We're gonna make some hats next. Um, I don't want to be a clothing brand, but it's just a way to Kind of say hey, hey, I like that lifestyle and I support this lifestyle and the people who love it and I want to build a community around it and so it's not always gonna be clothes and apparel and things like that, but it's a way to help me out. And then 10% of all the proceeds, we're gonna put towards somebody and helping them out. Whether it's like, hey, I wanna go snowboarding and they've never been snowboarding or signing little kids up for Little League. Um, you know, just helping people do what they like to do, no matter what it is. To add to those things too, um, I might be doing like perks and like little like benefits and stuff to actually helping me and, and you know, supporting the cause. I want to do some giveaways uh, where everybody has a chance to win. I'm thinking of a way to send people a uh, special kind of one of one type things um, that might involve the vlog. So it'll be like a Polaroid and it has to do with the vlog and you're the only one that gets that because I'll only take one. It's kind of like having like a little trading card from each vlog. I also want to start doing prints. Um, I want to take better photos. That'll get me out doing more photos rather than videos and kind of enhancing that skill set and then maybe put them on the website and sell them. Just little things that are kind of going on in my mind that help me out just so you guys can have something tangible and something that you have that means something to you while you're supporting what I'm doing. I'll go into more details about all this stuff later when it comes to fruition but kind of just wanted to give you guys the heads up and let you know where my my thought process is at with all this stuff so yeah thanks for the support there's a lot of you guys that have been around for a while even when I haven't been consistent and you guys comment and like the videos and stuff like that so thank you um, and if you guys are just like lurkers who just watch my videos but don't say anything just just leave a comment maybe put in the comments like what you would like to see or what you would like to have as like a perk or any ideas or suggestions where I can kind of give back to you guys while you guys are supporting me. But yeah, I think my break's over for work, so I should probably get back. Bye.